World War I ended, but the ocean didn't forget. Submarines, once ghosts of the deep, had reshaped naval warfare forever. Nations realized the sea was no longer silent. If you could hear beneath the waves, you could control them. And in 1919, scientists stumbled into a discovery that would turn the ocean into a giant listening chamber. Sound behaves differently underwater. At certain depths where cold and warm water layers meet, sound gets trapped. Instead of dispersing, it travels for hundreds of miles. This hidden highway of sound became known as the SOFAR channel, a natural pipeline of acoustics that no one had ever used before. Not yet. Engineers placed underwater acoustic bells at specific depths. When struck, each bell sent a tone racing through the SOFAR channel. Miles away, across open ocean, another ship could hear it. This wasn't radio, it wasn't line of sight signaling. This was long range underwater communication. A code, a map, a new language written in pressure and vibration. Suddenly, the sea wasn't unknowable, Ships could signal distress across vast waters. Submarines could be tracked. Navies could move with coordination once thought impossible. The SOFAR system laid the foundation for everything from anti-submarine warfare to undersea navigation to modern ocean science. Not by adding technology, but by listening to the ocean as it already was. Today, the SOFAR channel still carries sound across the deep. Marine scientists use it to track whales migrating thousands of miles. Search and rescue teams rely on it when GPS fails. Even global ocean temperature changes are monitored by the echoes moving through that ancient underwater corridor. A discovery born from war became a tool for navigation, research, and understanding the planet itself. The ocean is not silent. It never was. We just learned how to listen.